Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an old bag in to do today and this one is a little bit different. Still diamond painted related, uh, but yeah, just a little bit more of a funnish project to do. So this has come to me from the good people at DIYChoose. Um, I have been showing their products for a while and they asked if I would like some more products. And yes, of course. Always love showing their products. Did a mammoth, mammoth completion review the other evening. So I hope you've seen that one as well. All their finished products, how wonderful they come out. So let's see what we got. Oh, look at that, look at that. Okay, before we look at these though, um, I just want to let you know they do have a spring sale at DIYChoose.com at the moment. Um, if you use code DC8 and spend over $20, you will get an extra 8% off, which is marvellous. We love money off. Um, and if you buy five items or put five items in your basket, you'll only pay for four. And then uh, if you put 10 in, you'll only pay for eight. And if you put 15 in, you'll only pay for 12. So yay, lots of special offers and over $49 free shipping. Yay! Right, so let's have a look at this. Okay, this is a tote bag, but a tote bag with a difference. So it is a plain one. And it's a very nice quality. Uh, it's got a zip compartment here. A zip compartment in here, look. But although this looks like a pocket so that you can see what you've got in your bag, it is actually for putting a diamond painting in. Now, it is quite a smallish size, um, so I'm going to have to go through my diamond paintings and see what I've got that will fit in here. But uh, I just thought this was a really, really good idea. So nice bag. Uh, the price of this was £7.73, which I think for a bag for life is excellent value. It's nice and deep. We've got a really good base on it there. So although it's not that high, um, it is quite a nice deep bag. It has got uh, a white clean surface on the inside. It's like a plasticky lined. So underneath the Hessian where it's all been sewn, then it is plasticky lined. So I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but I would definitely say, you know, you can wipe it down. Um, so if you've got, say, something that's frozen that you've put in there and it gets a little bit damp or you spill something in it, you will be able to wipe it down. Uh, but yeah, I think these are excellent and uh, these are presents. And I am going to start on my, sorry, I'm going to have to say it, Christmas shopping. So yeah, I mean, how about getting somebody one of these bags and then getting a little custom diamond painting to pop in there? of say their pet or a photograph that you've taken or their friend or whatever i don't think i'd like myself on one um but uh, you know if you've got cute grandchildren or anything like that but it's also nice as a project bag as well because with it having that depth at the base there with it having with it having that nice deep base there you know if you've got say knitting or diamond painting obviously um or card making or anything like that then you'll get plenty in there to so take to your craft club or wherever you want to go. Or if you're going on holiday, just have your little craft bag with you with all your bits and pieces in. Um, and, you know, it's got some good sturdy handles nicely sewn on there as well. Look, it really has been well made this. I am impressed with the quality of it, I have to say. And these handles are padded. So if it's got something heavy in it, they're not going to sort of hurt your hands quite so much because this nice soft padded handle so yeah it's very soft as well actually it's nice i wonder what they've put inside oh it could be a piece of sort of softish rope i suppose or something um or a little bit of foam rubber i'm not quite sure what they put in the handles but yeah nice and it does fold down as well and um, it won't go over my shoulder i have to say but then i am a, a bit larger lady uh but sometimes you know if you're a little bit smaller than me or children probably use this as like a shoulder bag as well sometimes you know if you depending on where you are it's nice to have it over your shoulder have your bag over your shoulder and just have this underneath your arm to keep it safe but you do have your pocket and as i say that really is designed to put a diamond painting in you can buy the ones that come with diamond paintings um, and there's a few different ones available but i wanted one that didn't have a diamond painting with it so i can decide what i want to put in there 
Um, let me give it a quick measure and let you know what the sizes are. So the size of the bag is 30 centimetres, 12 inches by, well, let's flatten it out a bit, uh, roughly 10 inches, which is about 15 and a half, uh, sorry, 25 and a half centimetres. The handles from the bag are about five inches, about 13 centimetres. And then the depth of the base is about six inches, 15 centimetres. And what are the sides? Are they the same? We think they're going to be the same, but we will double check. It's always nice to know. Yeah, they're about six, uh, six inches, 15 centimetres. So say so it's not a tall bag but it is a nice well for want of a better word fat little bag <laughs> shall we say squat <laughs> um uh, so I, i've said before i used to use uh, a similar one uh, for like my pack up for work because i used to take a small flask and then i would take my cup with my drink in um, and then my sandwiches and obviously I didn't want my flask and my cup with my drink in to fall over there was supposed to be waterproof but as you know these things if you don't get the lid on right or whatever sometimes yeah can be a little bit iffy so I always liked a bag that would stand up so that everything inside would stand up um, but you get a big bag and then everything sort of falls over anyway in the bag whereas this is nice and compact to stop things from falling over so yeah I would have definitely used this for that and I would have had a little Millie Moo on the front so let's have a look at the size uh, that the diamond painting would actually be so we're going to be it's about 11 inches which is 28 centimetres by nine inches which is about 23 centimetres so nine by eleven mm. Dif different size to do but then when you think about some of your diamond paintings and you know i love my specials and i think specials would look great in this very sparkly and um, then if you think about those you tend to find that there might be a border on them that you can cut off so mm. but i am thinking customs i don't think a custom would look wonderful in here so yeah i will be going through my diamond paintings and seeing what i can put in them i do like the scalloped edge as well look it just makes it that little bit posher we've got like a little um square and dot edge across the top there just finishes it off just makes it that little bit more thought out shall we say um and then the little flowers little scallops going around as well with the detail just makes it that little bit prettier so yeah this is definitely one um this is definitely an item that i'm going to start collecting and i am going to start doing them now for christmas because you know what i'm like i get to christmas and it's a mass panic um and at the moment we do seem to be having quite a bit of illness and hospital visits and things going on uh extra to what we normally do so yeah i'm thinking plan ahead i usually start thinking uh, from my card making days and when i used to sell all my cards and things um around about june july time christmas in july um and i know there are lots of diamond painting events which are christmas in july uh, just to get you started uh, it's maybe to make you feel cooler in the uh, warm weather you know sometimes if you're uh, really really hot in the summer if you watch a film that's got snow and things on it it makes you, well it makes me feel cooler <laughs> i feel like i'm with them i would never watch a film about everest when it's really really cold because it would make me cold <laughs> So yeah, I think for the price, that's brilliant. So nice present for somebody and it's useful and you don't want to be buying plastic bags anymore. And they're really expensive anyway. So anyway, let's have a look at this picture. Again, thinking future in mind. I just saw this and it just caught my eye and I just thought I'm going to have to have it. So it is a special drill project. Uh, well, it will be when I can get in it. Hang on, where's the end? There it is. There's the end. is this gorgeous like autumnal tree and oh now then this says it's 30 by 35 will this fit in this bag i did order it to actually go in the bag 
I did look for ones to see if there was any that were similar sort of shapes to the bag. And I did think, I wonder if this will go in that bag. So let me have a look. What did we say? 11, just slightly over, but we can trim that off. So, mm, I think this one will go in this bag by, so it's 11, Ooh, it's maybe not, oh, I don't know though, if we did from the bottom. Yeah, so it's actually um, 24 centimetres between nine and a quarter and nine and a half inches. But if you go from the bottom of that tree, we're about, yes, it goes right up to there, nine, just over nine inches which is over 13 centimetres but I think this may fit in that bag so what I'm going to do then I will do this canvas and I'm going to see if it will fit in the bag so I did order it with that in mind but then seeing the bag I thought well maybe it won't fit maybe it won't but now I've opened it again um yeah ordering Liz has thought about the size of the canvas to go in the bag <laughs> sometimes <laughs> i do make plans sometimes so let's give it a bit of a flat so yeah this will be gorgeous i mean it's nice as like um as i say a present oh, it'll be nice actually you could use it as an adult trick or treat bag <laughs> it's got an autumn tree on it how many sweets would you get in that bag <laughs> oh dear we're just uh, Easter eggs and I'm thinking about Halloween and sweets already. Oh, dear. Right. So um, it is, what are we? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different gems and colours. There are no crystal codes or uh, gem codes on this one, sadly. But, ooh, we've got some gorgeous colours in there. Now, autumn is one of my favourite times of year. So this is another reason why I ordered this. Um, yeah, I know I'm not ordering for myself. I am ordering it um, to give to somebody as a present, but uh, I enjoy doing things that I like. <laughs> so, pen, butt and wax, your standard little toolkit. So, ooh, this will be interesting. I think I am definitely going to be able to trim enough off this to get this in this bag. It's just going to be the height that might be a little bit of a sticking point. I might just have to lose a couple of those gems up there, but we'll see. But as I say, I will get it done and I am going to do this as a whole project then to do it in a bag. Yay! Keep it all together and then I can do it all together as well, can't I? Uh, the price of this was £3.74. So all together, um, I've paid £11.47. So, I mean, this will be a nice kit to get somebody started into diamond painting as well. Here, make your own bag. <laughs> Oh no, I do think if you've handmade something or if I receive anything that somebody has made, it just means that little bit more, you know, because they've thought of you um, and they've made something for you. I just think it's wonderful. So I'm really pleased that um, Order and Liz decided to uh, think about putting these two together. I didn't think I'd done that. And then I thought, oh, maybe I haven't. But anyway, I have. So there you are. <laughs> now then, if you ordered five... So you could order five bags and get one free. And then you could order five diamond paintings and get one free. So that would be quite a, a nice little buy. And that would probably take you over your $49 um, threshold as well, which would then also give you free shipping. Something to think about. I might have a go at that. I might have a play about with that and uh, See what that would cost. And then that's set uh, five Christmas presents all sorted out. Well, six if I count this one. But actually, I'm just loving this picture so much now. As you know, I really struggle to give canvases away. <laughs> I like to keep them all for me. Right, let's have a look at all these gorgeous gems. Oh, we are starting at this end. Oh, look at that gorgeous bright orange colour. That is lovely. And then is that, uh, that's a deep bronze colour. I was thinking, is it black? But no, it's deep bronze. A lovely bright blue. A very, very pale green. A little bit of your standard 310 black there. 
and a little bit paler amber colour there. Oh, hot pink. Oh, I never thought it had hot pink in it. Oh, that's wonderful. Yay. Oh, I think I'm definitely airing on keeping this one. And then a pale pink. And then we get on to our special shapes, which are our amber goldy coloured marquees there. We've got the owl claws. Um, sorry, I call them owl claws because the first paintings that I did that were special seemed to be all owls and they all got those little uh, teardrops with the iridescent coating on. Um, and they were all the owl claws. So uh, It's just stuck. I just always think of them as, as owl claws when I see them. But they are actually orange teardrops with an iridescent coating. We've got some of these little pink flowers. We've had those before. They're very pretty. And they look really effective when they're on the paintings as well. We've got some uh, semi-spheres in the medium gold size. And then, oh, look at those. They're like a fire red marquee. And that coating, you've got purple and blue and green and hot pink all included in that colour. So, wow. So, where do our flowers go then? I'll just have a look. So the little flowers are C, so they're oh, all dotted round. So maybe it's not an, an autumn one then. It's got pink flowers on it. Yeah, these colours are sort of autumn-y, aren't they? It's sort of going summer to autumn, I think. And we've just got the flowers there. Um, e, oh, the fire red look are all these colours round here, oh, all dotted about. D, the little round ones, are all again dotted around. So it's quite nice charting. It's nicely spread out for that sparkle. And B, we've got, oh, this big sort of flower leaf thing here and here. And then A are on this one and this one. Very nice. Okay, that is going to be really pretty and stand out an awful lot. And is that number seven? Yeah, look at number seven. There's a lot of hot pink on this one. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe it's not quite as autumn as I was thinking. It might be more summer. <laughs> but we will see. Oh, the picture. Sort of, it does look more autumn, I have to say. But all that hot pink. Maybe it'll all blend in with the oranges and golds and things. Uh, and just turn it down a little bit just to make it more autumnal. But yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. So I will get this one done and then we'll have a go at fitting it in our bag. And if it does fit, then that'll be marvellous. But as I say, I'm thinking more along the lines of getting the plain bags and doing some customs in them. But we will see. Mm. Okay, I am really enjoying all the new things that are coming out and all the different things of diamond painting. I think this is an excellent idea because, you know, it's nice to get a bag with a diamond painting on the top. But also the idea of having this means that, I mean, actually you could do spring, summer, autumn and winter, couldn't you? Um, I might have a look and see if there's anything uh, similar sort of like for, for winter and for spring and for uh, summer just to add in. So you could have a seasonal bag and just change it out as and when. Um, or you could do one with your dog on and then as your dog gets older, you can do another one and then another one. Or your cat. Um, oops, sorry, I said that word and I had to have Millie Moo in the room with me. <laughs> so yeah, excellent. Oh, loving these. Right, okay, so yeah, £11.47, but as I say, if you then did buy, what would that work out then? So it would be £46 then um, to get five bags, five paintings, and then you would have free postage as well. So that to me is really good value and excellent presents. Mm, I feel an order coming up. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Uh, let me know what picture would you put in the bag? What would you personalise it with? I mean, you don't even have to put a diamond painting in. If you do your cross stitching um, or your child's made you a beautiful picture, you could put that in there because this is waterproof on the front. You know, it, it's um, within reason. I mean, I'm not going to say you're going to go out in a huge storm and it's going to be safe, but within reason and it's wiped clean as well. Um, and then you can also, if you're putting something in the front, you can also put your uh, phone or your um, purse or whatever behind the picture so that it's not seen. Um, and then it's safe in a little um, zip-up pocket as well. So, yeah, I am absolutely all of in these. I've got so many ideas now. I'm going to make myself coming backwards. <laughs> 
Okay, well, as I said, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Huge thank you, DIY Chose, for sending me these. I th just think it's a great idea and a lot of fun to be had as well. So if you have enjoyed looking at this, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.